Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explain how to resolve a problem with the CyberPower uh, UPS. In this case, we have a 625 VA volt amp, uh, but it's the same with the 850 and their other products as well. Uh, are you hearing this sound? Yeah. And having it periodically turn off on you? Yeah, well, what's wrong is the battery's dead. So what you gotta do is replace it. Easy enough to do. Um, now you might just say, well, I'll just replace the whole unit. Please don't do that. Um, this stuff just ends up in the landfill and all that's wrong is the battery. The circuits and the rest of it are just fine. So just change the battery. And fortunately, the cyber power unit is meant, uh, all, all of these UPSs are meant to have the battery changed. It's super easy. You can buy it on Amazon or eBay or Timu or wherever the heck else you want. So as I said, this is a uh, CyberPower 625 VA, but the same for the 850 VA, and uh, in fact, all of the other CyberPowers as well. So what you need to do uh, to replace the battery is simply take any Phillips screwdriver, that's the star. Um, it's a, a pretty standard size. I'm gonna use a small one, you don't need to, anything's fine. Um, there you go. Uh, take the single screw out, slide this back, uh, and really not much else to it. Pop the battery out by tipping it. Take the leads off. Okay, so we've got the battery out and the number one question that uh, you have to ask yourself is, what battery do I replace it with? Okay, so for legal reasons, I'm going to say you should replace it with the identical battery, which is a 12 volt, 5.5 amp hour. That's the AH, that's what, that's what that stands for, uh, battery. However, I can tell you I'm not going to. I will replace it with something that's a higher amperage, probably a seven or eight amp. And the reason I'm going to do that is because with uh, higher uh, amps, uh, this will this UPS will last longer when it's uh, running, when it's draining the battery. It'll also take longer to charge, but I don't care because I don't have a million power outages. I don't care if this takes uh, eight hours to charge or six hours to charge, just don't care. And I doubt most people are running this size of UPS would either. Now, a uh, couple of things to note when you're ordering. In addition to not being too focused on the amp hours, and again, for legal reasons, I would suggest you replace with exactly the one that's there. However, um, when you're Googling this or when you're in Amazon or anywhere else, what you really wanna look for with this is the size of the battery. So you're looking for one with two posts. And in my case, this is the uh, Cyber Power 625VA volt amp battery. And so what I have to do is look for one that is exactly two inches wide and uh, about six inches long and about uh, three and a half inches tall. And uh, the reason why that is so critical is because in particular on Amazon, I've been looking and an awful lot of the batteries that say they will work in this unit will not. And uh, the reason why they won't is because they're two and a half inches wide and you think, Extra half an inch isn't gonna make that much difference. Yes, it will. It just won't fit. You can see here, I've got two inches. That's it. Easy on the jokes, by the way. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I've just got two inches. That's the size of the cavity I have here. Okay, so let's order a battery. And uh, I'm going to use Amazon, but you can use anybody. It doesn't make any difference. And uh, note that this is completely unsponsored, so please give us the big thumbs up. Uh, Amazon's not giving us anything. Whoever we buy this battery from is not giving us anything. Uh, okay, so in my case, I'm using Amazon, but eBay or wherever you want to get it from is fine. I'm just uh, entering CyberPower 625 VA replacement battery. If I click on any of these, including this one, which looks like it's the same thing, CyberPower 625 AVR, you will see that it is too large. It's two and a half inches from here to here and I only have uh, two inches of space there, so that's not going to work. So to save a lot of time, uh, I went through a dozen of these and was checking them, and there a lot of these are two and a half inch, even though they're supposed to fit in this unit. Anyway, I eventually found this one, and you can see that this is the replacement battery for the, uh, five, uh, uh, the 12 volt 5.5 amp, but it's actually a 6.5 amp. As we said, it's higher capacity, so here I am three days later and my battery just showed up. Except this is 6.5 amps and the original is 5.5 amps. This will last longer. Now, two things are left before you declare victory. One, you've got to charge this thing and uh, that will take a few hours for sure. 
uh, possibly overnight. And, and secondly, what to do with the uh, old battery. Please don't throw it out. Uh, two reasons. One, they're really bad for the environment and two, they're valuable. So in my case, I'm going to take it to my office because I work in a great big office tower and uh, these things get recycled through there. In your case, you can take it to Home Depot or one of a hundred other places that takes them uh, for recycling. So hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, please contact us directly at www.urteth.ca or, or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.